Hey, what is going on guys? Lethal Flux here and today I'm bringing you a deck profile of the Evil Swarm deck. So without any further ado, let's get into it. First we have three Evil Swarm caster. He's the um, normal summon of the deck. Let's you have an additional normal summon as long as it is an Evil Swarm monster. So yeah, run him at three. Very good card. After that we have three Evil Swarm uh, Thunderbird and basically when a monster effect, a trap card or a spell card happens or activates you can banish him during the next standby phase he comes back with uh, 300 more attacks so he becomes 1950 very awesome card uh, makes you makes it so you have a monster on the field all the time to overlay for your Ophion and big boss uh, XD's monster so yeah run him at three very good card after that we have three evil swarm mandragora uh, little plant dude pretty cool you can special summon him when your opponent has more monsters than you do so if they have two to your one monster, you can still special summon it. Um, very awesome card, um, and also helps that he's level four. So once again, helps you get into your rank four big boss monsters. Definitely run the Mandragora at three. After that, you got two effect veilers, self-explanatory. Don't think I need to explain much here. You got two tour guides, uh, once again, self-explanatory. You go to Zen Mains, Tim Tempo, Acid Golem, Levier, whichever you want, doesn't matter, but yeah. Run two tour guide if you would like. Two hippity hoppity rescue bunnies. Self explanatory once again, you run a lot of vanillas in this deck, so yeah. Three evil swarm heliotrope, which is really awesome. He's 1950. Oh my god. Saves your ass so many times. Gets over that Thunder King. What a pain in the ass, right? Very good card. Vanilla. Search him out with Rabbit, and he's awesome, so yeah. And I am running the Dino build. Um, you guys don't have to, of course, but I am running the Dino build. If you would like to run the Pure, you can throw in um, maybe a third MST, more staple traps. But I like to run the Dino build because Logia plus Ophion is really, really good. And it assures that I have game most of the time. So yeah, I run three Sabersaurus. Let me know which you guys would run uh, rather than Sabersaurus. For the spell lineup, we have three Infestation Pandemic. Makes it to where all the Ill Swarm monsters you currently control are unaffected by other spell or trap cards this turn or spell and trap cards this turn so yeah I run it at three a lot of people run it at two but I really like three because it assures protection for Ophion which I think is amazing so yeah I run three infestation pandemic two a uh, mystical space typhoon self-explanatory you can run three like I said if you do not run the saber Swords build but I do so I run two I do side the third um, just in case I need more back row hate <laughs> so yeah to Mystical Space Typhoon for this build. I do run the Trinity, of course, of Heavy Storm, Monster Born, and Dark Hole. Very, very good cards. Um, I do see Monster Born getting hit in the future as a banned card, but don't hold me to that. <laughs> I do think it's, it will get banned eventually, though. So yeah, you run the Trinity of Heavy Storm, Reborn, and Dark Hole. I run one Rota, or a Reinforcement of the Army, to, so I can... Uh, Search out that caster. Very, very good card. Very, very good combo with the caster and Rota. One Forbidden Dress. Um, I am going to bump this up to two because this card is really good in this deck. It protects Ophion even more, which is really unfair. But yeah, I'm going to bump this up to two. Don't know what um, I should take out yet. Maybe you guys can give me some suggestions as to uh, what I should take out for this, for the second Forbidden Dress. Very good card in this deck. So yeah. Two Bottomless Trap Holes. Um, once again, very amazing card. <laughs> Self-explanatory. It's been around for a very long time, and I can't believe it's still run today. But it is a good card, so I run two. Two. Two of the compulsory es evacuation device. I almost said escape device. It's a different trap card. Uh, very good card, this format. Um, just bounces the monster back to the hand. Uh, very, very awesome card. I love Compulse over a lot of other cards. Uh, I was, it was either um, the Compulse or the Mirror Force, and I chose Compulse because I hate getting style eroded. <laughs> I don't know if you guys like getting Star Rotor or not, but I definitely don't like it, so I chose to run the two compulsory evacuation device. Two Fiendish Chain, uh, another very, very good uh, trap this format, one of the best traps this format, I, I think. You can Fiendish Chain a lot of things. So yeah, two Fiendish Chain, a uh, very good card this format. I would definitely start manning it in a lot of you guys' decks. One Infestation Infection. A lot of people don't like this card, but I really do like this card because if you draw into your Evil Swarm Vanillas, it gives you a chance to shuffle them back into your deck, and you can you, you can add the uh, caster, um, which is really awesome. So basically, it reads: once per turn, you can shuffle one of swarm monster from your hand or face up on your side of the field into the main deck, and one of swarm monster from your deck to your hand, uh, which is really awesome. 
and reborn your vanillas that you've already used and bounce them back to the deck to add a caster or a thunderbird or wh whatever the situation may be mandragora even but yeah really 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 good card i think i really like it a lot of people don't run it but i think it's really good and after that of course you run the solemn duo um i'm really not starting to not really like judgment that much the cost is really really huge um, it's good in some matchups, but I like Dark Bribe over Judgment. It's a, I mean, I'd rather have my opponent draw a card than me usually pay 4,000 life points or half of what I have <laughs> to stop something. Um, Dark Bribe is almost just as good. This is for summoning, and I would say Dark Bribe would be for magic and trap or spells and traps. But this card is really working for right now. Um, I'm still a little iffy on it, but I really like the Solemn Duo still. So yeah, I do run the Solemn Duo. I run debatably the best card in the entire archetype or deck. Uh, three Evil Swarm Ophion. A lot of people say, oh, three is overkill. And I do agree that three is overkill. The only reason I run three is because I do not have a Evil Swarm Ouroboros yet, which is really unfortunate because that card is extremely good. So for now, I run three Evil Swarm Ophion. This card's amazing. Um, I Now I know why everybody was scared of it. <laughs> it's because it's amazing and you can't drop gores or trag or special summon or anything. Basically you have game against Chaos Dragons or E Dragons or whatever else special summons <laughs> level five or higher monsters. Really good card. Definitely want to run at least two. Um maybe not three, but I love Ophion. Really good card. One Evil Swarm Bahamut. This card's really good. Discard an Evil Swarm monster and basically he becomes a big eye. So I actually discarded a monster to take somebody's big eye and then I used their big eye to take their monster which was really really funny it was pretty amazing so yeah very good card you basically just gain control of the monster and he can still attack after he uses that effect which is really awesome so yeah one evil swarm Bahamut definitely one run him really good card one gem knight pearl a uh, very good card he's used for the mirror match I love having a mirror match and then summoning gem knight pearl my opponent doesn't have gem knight pearl so Really awesome. Gets over Ophion by that 50 points. So, great job, Gem Knight Pearl. <laughs> one Gem Knight Pearl. And you run one number 50 black ship of vegetables. I mean, uh, black ship of corn. Yeah, one black ship of corn. Very good card. Gets rid of Zen Mains. Uh, gets rid of Maze Stroke. Gets rid of a lot of things. Um, she pretty much become staple in the format now. So, yeah, definitely want to run at least one black ship of corn. And I run one Cowboy, a really awesome card, saves my ass a lot, it's also become staple. Um, expensive card to get, but it's really, really worth it. If you can pick one up, I definitely advise you guys to pick one up. I run one Gaga Cowboy, that's that. May Stroke the Symphony Jin, pretty much a staple as well, very good card. Gets over Ophion's defense if you can flip it face down, which is awesome. One, number 16, Shockmaster. Um, I can make it really easily in this deck with the Mantragoras, the Thunderbirds, and the um, Casters. Very, very easy to get out in this deck. Um, I, ha I have made it a lot, but yeah, I like Shockmaster in this deck so far. I run one Evolzer Dolka, because I do run the Saber Swords. And I run one Evolzer Lagia, of course, because I run the Saber Swords. Um, awesome card, like I said before, in, in unison with... Ophion, I mean, you pretty much have game if you can keep these on the field, which is just awesome. Uh, I love Lagia in this deck. So yeah, I run one Lagia for the Saber Source build. Getting into the rank 3s, I run one Temp Temp of the Percussion Jin. Uh, this is because if your opponent makes Zen mains and you have an Ophion on the field, um, that's really bad because they're usually going to attack into your Ophion, take the damage, and pop it during the end phase. So you want to get rid of those materials that are on Zen mains so you can keep your Ophion alive, which is why I run the one... Um, Temp Tempo, and I also run the Black Ship of Corn. A very good card in this deck. I love Temp Tempo. Look at that little guy. How could you not like this guy? Look at him. Very amazing card. Definitely want to run at least one of him. I run one Acid Golem of Destruction. This is very, very last resort stuff. Like, if all my Ophions are gone, I don't have Gem Knight Pearl or anything to get over Ophions in the mirror match. Or if I just am just trying so hard to push for game, um, I make Acid Golem. He's he's a lifesaver, he really is, even though he kind of sucks because you can't special summon at all. But yeah, I run one Acid Golem of Destruction. One mother effing Zen Mains, because this card is way too good. Um, good in the mirror match, man. Everything's good in the mirror match, man. <laughs> but yeah, I run one Zen Mains, good to make first turn. Good to stall out until you get your pieces to make Ophion and stuff. 
So yeah, and one Zen mains, awesome card. Love you Zen mains, man. Look at that guy, he's awesome. We love you Zen mains. Run one. And for the very last card, yes, I do run one Catastrophe because I run the effect failures. Um, and Catastrophe is just really, really awesome, especially if you're like, oh, I'm playing Constellars and you have no materials on Pleiades, which is really rare. But ha, attack your shit that's not dark. I win. So yeah, <laughs> a hard card to get a hold of, really is, but I really like Cataster if you run Effect Veilers. Um, you saved my ass a lot of times before, so yeah. I run one Cataster. Alright guys, and that was my Evil Swarm deck. Very fun deck, I really like playing it along with the Constellars. Um, Constellars are coming up next after the Evil Swarms, but yeah, very fun deck. I definitely, it's really easy to make, all you have to do is really buy a couple boxes of hidden arsenal or trade for some stuff and you have the deck. I started making this deck on Saturday. What is it now? Tuesday or something like that? I don't know. I started making it on Saturday and I, I've i completed the deck and it was a very short amount of time. <laughs> really, really awesome. I'm very happy that I completed the deck and I like the deck a lot. So yeah. Like, comment, and subscribe for more awesome deck profiles. You guys, Constellar is coming up next. Peace out.